Mortals of Earth. Something and that should have been at the top of every newsfeed on the globe. Since it's not, I'm here to tell you one of the most important updates on the Great Pyramid in our lifetime. This is not just another mystery of Egypt story. This is about engineering, energy, and a piece of lost knowledge that will change how we see both the ancient world and our own future. For decades, Christopher Dunn has been studying the Great Pyramid as an engineer. Not as an archaeologist, not as a mystic, but as somebody who understands machines, vibration, acoustics, waveguides, energy systems. His book, The Giza Power Plant, laid out a bold idea. The Great Pyramid was built not as a tomb, but as a power plant. A resonant energy harvester tuned to the Earth itself. And yet, there's always been a missing piece. We had the theory. We had the math. We had parts of the structure. But we didn't have a clear picture of the underground and hidden parts of the pyramid that would make such a machine actually work. If you have been paying attention, that's where Dr. Filippo Biondi's Kafra project comes in. Using synthetic aperture radar, SAR tomography, his team has been scanning beneath the Giza Plateau and inside the Great Pyramid with a method that's already been proven on known sites. Volcano conduits, dams, the Osiris shaft. This is an armchair speculation. This is a peer-reviewed, tested imaging technique. What they're finding is extraordinary. Beneath the plateau, they've detected deep, spiral-structured columns and shafts going into the bedrock, like gigantic screws tapping into the Earth's power. Inside the pyramid, they've reconstructed voids, corridors, and complex structures that no one had mapped, let alone dared even dream of. And here's the kicker. One of those internal structures matches exactly what Christopher Dunn's model has always required, a chamber capable of focusing and amplifying microwaves. In his hypothesis, you need a resonant chamber to accumulate and stimulate microwave energy. And then you need waveguide-like shafts to channel that energy out. Until now, that was just a diagram in a book. Now, with these scans, we're actually seeing the chamber and the connecting structures in the right places. Dunn himself had been cautious about Biondi's work when it first came out. In March, he even posted a note saying he wasn't convinced yet. He wanted to see more data. He wanted to talk to the researchers directly. And that's exactly what happened. Last weekend at the Global Pyramid Conference, Dunn sat down with Dr. Biondi, saw the supporting data firsthand, and went back over his own calculations. And now, publicly, he's saying his view has changed. He's convinced. Think about that. This is not a small shift. This is the engineer who wrote the Giza power plant moving from maybe to I'm convinced. And it gets even better. NASA's Freedom and Freund has demonstrated how stressed rock generates mobile electric charges, what people call earthquake lights. In other words, the Earth itself is a massive electrical reservoir. Those spiral shafts under the plateau? They look perfectly designed to couple into that reservoir, drawing energy upward into the pyramid. Inside, the pyramid's corridors and chambers are acoustically tuned. The slot spacing in the Grand Gallery, the resonance of the King's Chamber, the alignment of the shafts. Dunn has long argued these features weren't random. They were engineered for vibration, for resonance, for energy transfer. Now the underground feed lines and the hidden focusing chamber give the model a foundation we didn't have before. This isn't just about archaeology. Dunn has broken down the economics. He's compared the colossal daily cost of mining and burning fossil fuels, the infrastructure, the pollution, the finite supply, with the one-time cost of building a pyramid-scale energy harvester. Over centuries, the math is clear. A structure like the Great Pyramid, once built, could operate for millennia with no fuel, no pollution, and minimal maintenance. What seems impossible on a 10-year business plan becomes obvious on a 500-year timescale. This is why this moment is historic. We now have an engineer who understands the mechanics of the Great Pyramid as an energy device. We now have independent imaging data of the underground and internal structures that would have fed and powered it. We now have a chamber inside that matches the focusing element in Dunn's model. And we have a planetary context, the Earth's own electric potential, that makes the whole system plausible. If this were about a new fossil fuel discovery, or a new kind of reactor, it would be front page news. Instead, because it involves ancient technology and challenges our assumptions, it's barely being talked about. But make no mistake, this is groundbreaking. This is pivotal. Imagine if we took this seriously. 
Imagine if Egypt allowed exploration of those shafts and tunnels. Imagine if interdisciplinary teams, engineers, geophysicists, acousticians, could test the model and even build a prototype. Imagine if we had clean, unlimited energy drawn directly from the Earth itself, inspired by an ancient design. We have been left not just a monument. This is a blueprint. Christopher Dunn has now connected the dots. Filippo Biondi's scans have shown us the hidden parts. And NASA research gives us the physics. Mortals of Earth, we are at a threshold. This knowledge belongs to all of us. We should not let it be ignored, dismissed, or buried. We are here to witness what promises to be an amazing event. That's all for now. Stay curious and have a good one. Thank you.